Cotton candy, candy canes, caramel popcorn. Well, young children wouldn't want to get their hands on that. That's the problem. Those are flavors for electronic cigarettes, and little kids are getting their hands on them. And it's sending them to the hospital in New Mexico with nicotine poisoning. Here's News 13's Lizé Mitri. Cherry cola, pina colada, very berry. It sounds like candy, tastes like candy, but it's far from it. It's known as cigarette juice, flavors for electronic cigarettes. We'll see down the road, but I think this can be a game changer for a lot of people that want to quit smoking. But Jacqueline Kakis with the New Mexico Poison Center says those sweet smells and flavors are also attracting kids. The Poison Center went from just one report of nicotine poisoning from an e-cig in 2010 to 23 last year. And that number is expected to keep growing along with the popularity of the product. We've already had three already for 2014. Cigarette juice bottles can range from 5 milliliters to 50 with nicotine levels, sometimes the equivalent of multiple cigarettes. Something to pay attention to when you're looking at safety are the caps. This one can just be opened easily. This one you have to push down like a pill bottle to get it open. Signs of nicotine poisoning include flushed skin, uh, increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, nausea, vomiting. Electronic cigarette store owner Jonathan Lomax says e-cigs aren't the problem. He blames a lack of common sense. People that smoke, they leave their cigarettes out on the table, parents or something like that. You know, don't leave it out if there's some nicotine in it where your kid could pick it up and, and use the device. Lizay Mitri, KRQE News 13. The New Mexico Poison Center says depending on the nicotine level, it would only take a mouthful of so-called e-cigarette juice to harm a child. And just touching it can irritate their skin.